We want to get you to our top story this morning at 9 o'clock with mixed emotions and as you can imagine heavy hearts. Students and staff are preparing to return to the classroom at Appalachia High School three weeks after police say a student opened fire killing four people. Sarah Hammond is live right now. She's at the high school in Barrow County as they get back into the swing of things. Barrow County's sheriff has a message and it's a message of hope, Sarah, for that community. Absolutely. As these students are arriving here for this open house, we did hear from Barrow County Sheriff Judd Smith. He says this return is a huge step for healing. He also added that there are safety measures in place. He noted just because you might not be able to see them doesn't mean that they're not there. And the plan here at Appalachie High School is to have this open house today for people who are comfortable returning. That's starting right now and tomorrow as classes resume, students will only stay for a half day and that schedule will continue until October 4th. As students return, school officials say there will be an increased law enforcement presence, additional counselors, therapy dogs and other resources. And the building where the shooting happened, that will be closed for the rest of the year. And social studies classes will be held in a nearby Barrow County Schools building. Buses will take students back and forth. And Sheriff Smith says being here today brings back a lot of emotions for everyone. But he applauds the community's resilience. What evil did not plan for was the resiliency and the strength that they have. They did not count for that. And when students and faculty return from fall break on October 14th, they will return to their normal class schedule. Live at Appalachie High School, Sarah Hammond for Atlanta News First. Yeah, our thoughts are with all of those who are out there today just trying to get back into the swing of things. Sarah, thanks for that report.